Hi everyone, uh, I'm Yang Le and it's my great pleasure to share my medical knowledge with all of you. And since it's the first lesson, uh, I will talk about how I arrange the class first. So firstly, I will talk about the language I use in class. I will teach you in both Chinese and English, but I will reduce uh, Chinese speaking and increase English speaking in my class gradually. And uh, if you have any questions, you are welcome to leave me a message. And secondly, about the structure of my class. In my class, um, I will choose a topic. So I will talk about some knowledge about the topic. So for example, today we will talk about the yin yang theory and the five elements theory. And secondly, I will include some questions in my PPT. So uh, we will discuss about questions in the following 20 minutes uh, oral class. So you need to prepare the questions before the oral class. 那关于课堂的一个课程的安排，首先关于语言，在课上呢，我会中英文都给大家进行双语的教学。那随着课程的呃进一步开展的话，我希望呃中文的比例呃逐步的下降，英文的比例逐步的上升，这样对大家的。听力还有口语都有一定的帮助那每一节课呢我会安排一个主题比如说我们今天的主题是中医基础英语阴阳五行那围绕这个主题呢我会给大家进一步的介绍相关的知识那每一节课呢我还会给大家安排一些问题那这
So it's the first question, and it's for the oral, the oral class. So please prepare it well, and I do hope that you can um, give more examples. It's very common, right? You can have many, many examples in your daily life about in and young. Okay, let's go on. Let's move on to the basic content of yin yang theory. It includes four parts. The opposition of yin and yang, yin yang dui li. The independence between yin and yang, yin yang hu gen. Weanings and waxing between yin and yang, yin yang xiao zhang. Intertransformation between yin and yang, yin yang zhuang hua. I will introduce the four parts in details. Firstly, let's talk about oppositions of yin and yang, yin yang dui li. The opposition between yin and yang means that all things or phenomena in the natural world have two opposite aspects, known as yin and yang, such as heaven and earth, day and night, heat and cold. 在咱们的自然界，任何相关的事物或者现象，它都有相对立的两面，我们称它为阴和阳。那比如说天和地，白天和黑夜，热和冷等等。Okay, let's move to yin yang hu gen, the interdependence between yin and yang. Although yin and yang are opposite. Are opposite to each other. Meanwhile, they also depend on each other. Neither can exist without the other. In other words, without yin, there will be no yang, and vice versa. 那我们再讨论一下阴阳互根。尽管阴和阳它是对立的两个方面，那同时呢，它们也是相互依存的。任何一方离开另外一方都无法单独存在。换一句话说，如果没有阴，那也不会有阳，反之亦然。Okay, the third part, waning and waxing between yin and yang, yin yang xiao zhang. Yin and yang coexist in a dynamic equilibrium in which one waxes while the other wins. 那接下来呢，我们讨论一下阴阳的消长。阴和阳呢，它是在动态平衡的过程中存在的。那其中一个消，另外一个就长，所以说它们是、呃、相互依存的，在动态平衡中发展的。Lastly, let's talk about 阴阳转化 ，intertransformation between yin and yang. Under certain conditions, either yin or yang may transform into its opposite side. 那阴阳转化是指在某一些特定的条件下，阴或者阳它会向它的相反的方向转化。比如说，阴转成阳，阳转为阴。So we have talked about the content, the four parts of yin and yang theory. So can you use what you have learned to? Translates following sentences, and all these sentences come from the classics. Su Wen and the Nei Jing. Su Wen 曰：阴阳者，天地之道也，万物之纲纪，变化之父母，生杀之本始。Su Wen 曰：阴盛则阳病，阳盛则阴病。内经曰：阴在内，阳之首也。阳在外，阴之始也。那这三个句子呢，是留给大家思考的第二个问题。那我们刚才已经给大家介绍了一些阴阳理论相关的一些知识，那大家能不能用我们已经学到的知识，试着翻译一下下面的经典、经典呃里面的一些段落、一些句子？那这一个呢，我们在接下来二十分钟的口语课中会给大家进一步来说，所以希望大家花一点时间试着翻译一下这三个句子。Okay, let's move to the new part, the 
the theory of five elements. 五行学说 So what are the five elements? From the picture, you can see the five elements mean the fire, the earth, the metal, the water, and the wood. We call them the five elements theory. I will introduce the characteristics of the five elements one by one. So firstly, let's talk about the wood. 木曰曲直。那这里的曲呢，是表示曲的意思。直表示深。那曲直，它的意思就是能曲能伸。所以，但凡具有生长、生发、调达舒畅作用或者性质的事物呢，它都属木。When translates into English, we say like this. Wood is characterized by being both bending and straight. So anything with the functions of growing and developing freely is attributed to the category of wood. Then let's talk about the, character the characteristics of the five elements of fire. 火曰炎上，炎热也。上就是向上的意思。所以，但凡具有温热、升腾作用的事物，我们说都属于火。Fire is characterized by warmth, heat, and flaming up. So anything with the functions of warming and rising is attributed to the category of fire. Then we will talk about characteristics of earth. Um, earth is characterized by cultivation and reaping. So anything with the functions of generating, transforming, supporting, and receiving is attributed to the category of earth. 那接下来呢，我们讨论一下土。我们说土原稼色，春种曰稼，秋收曰色。主要是指农作物的播种和收获，所以但凡具有生化、承载、受纳作用的事物，均属于土。Then we will talk about the characteristics of the metal. Metal is characterized by change. So anything with the functions of purifying, descending, and extracting is attributed to the category of metal. 那金曰从革，从是表示顺从、服从的意思，革是革除、改革，所以但凡具有清洁、塑降、收敛等作用的事物，我们说都属于金。And then we will talk about the characteristics of the water. Water is characterized by moisture and downward flowing. Therefore, anything with the functions of cooling, moisturing, and moving downward is attributed to the category of water. 那我们说水它的特性，水曰润下，润是表示湿润的意思，下是向下，所以但凡具有寒凉、滋润、向下、闭藏性能的事物呢，或者现象，都可以归属于水。Okay, I've talked about the characteristics of the five elements. We will talk about the generation, restriction, subjugation, and violation of the five elements. 那在给大家介绍完五行的呃、嗯、相关的特点之后呢，我们再给大家继续介绍五行的相生、相克、相衬、相侮。那首先我们给大家介绍一下相生和相克。Generation and restriction. 相生呢是指这一事物对另外一个事物具有促进、助长的作用。Generation means that one kind of object generates or strengthens another. 相克呢是制约、克制的意思。Restriction implies bringing under control or restraint. So I will give you some examples. You can have a look at the pictures I will show you on the right. 那在右边呢，我们可以看到，嗯，这里画出了相生和相克的图。那我们看一下
，相生，木生火，火生土，土生金，金生水，水生木。So wood generates fire, fire generates earth, earth generates metal, metal generates water, and water in return generates wood. 那相克，我们看到这里，木克土，火克金，土克水，金克木，水克火。So wood restricts earth, earth restricts water, water restricts fire, fire restricts metal, and metal in turn restricts wood. And we will further talk about subjugation of the five elements. 那我们继续给大家介绍五行的相称。那相称呢，它就相当于以强凌弱，这是五行之间的克制太过。So, uh, subjugation is similar to launching an attack when a counterpart is weak. It's an excessive restri restriction among the five elements. 那相称的次序呢，和相克是一样的。The order of subjugation is the same as that of restriction. And I will give you an example. For instance, wood normally restricts earth. However, if wood is in excess, it may over restrict earth and bring an insufficiency of earth, also known as wood subjugation earth. 那刚才我给大家举的这个例子是说，通常呢，我们说是木克土，但如果木过于强盛，则会出现土太，则会克土太过，而造成土的不足，我们称它为木抗衬土。So lastly, we will talk about the violation of the five elements. 我们说的相侮，相侮呢是指在病理情况下，一行不能按正常的顺序克制另一行，反而被另一行转而反克。It's a morbid condition in which one element fails to restrict the other in the regular order, but is restrict restricted by the other in the reverse order. 因此呢，相侮的次序与相克是相反的。So the order of counter restriction or the violation is just the opposite to that of restriction. 那我接下来还是给大家举一个例子。嗯，我们先说一下英文的。For example, under normal conditions, metal restricts wood, but when wood is in excess or metal is in deficiency. Wood will violate metal instead instead of being restricted by metal, which is known as wood violates metal. 那刚才这段话的意思呢，是指在正常的情况下是我们知道是金克木，但如果木偏盛或者金不足，木不受金的克制，反而对金进行了反克，我们称它为木抗五金。So we have finished with all the content, all the main content of Yin Yang theory and the five element theory. Let's do a quick review. Let's review what we have learned today. So firstly, we talked about the content of Yin and Yang. So remember that there are four parts. The first part is Yin Yang Dui Li, the opposition of Yin and Yang. The second part is Yin Yang Hu Gen. Interdependence between yin and yang, and third part, yin yang xiao zhang, winning and waxing between yin and yang, and the the fourth part, yin yang zhuan hua, intertransformation between yin and yang. And then we also talked about the characteristics of the five elements, right? So we talked about、um, the characteristics of wood, fire, earth. Metal and water. Mu Yue Qu Zhi. Wood is characterized by being both bending and straight. Huo Yue Yan Shang. Fire is characterized by warmth, heat, and flaming up. Tu Yuan 
Jiaxi, Earth is characterized by cultivation and reaping. Jing Yue Cong Ge, Metal is characterized by change and Shui Yue Run Xia. Water is characterized by moisturing and downward flow. So lastly, we talk about generation, restriction, subjugation, and violation of the five elements. And I will also give you some examples. So it's better that you have a review of the class. So we have finished all the content of what we have learned today. So I want to give you the third question. Do you know what is the mutual interaction between mother element and child element? 你知道什么叫母子相集吗? 那我们今天的课呢就讲到这边给大家介绍了阴阳理论和五行理论也给大家留了三个问题那在我们接下来二十分钟的口语课的口语课上呢我们会给大家进一步讨论这三个问题 so try your best and prepare well for the questions. 所以请大家做一定的准备，然后我们在口语课上进一步进行讨论，也欢迎大家啊更积极的参与口语课。那我们今天的课就到这，谢谢大家的收听。